As every day passes, this relief operation gets more and more urgent and desperate. Afghans hoping to escape have to walk through ranks of Taliban fighters. The British military are trying to move thousands of people out of Afghanistan in just days. It's a humanitarian mission in what feels like a war zone. A makeshift barricade is all that separates two armies who have fought for 20 years. The Taliban are just one meter away. It's a picture I never thought I would ever see. This is the first day that they've been able to bring order here. We've watched as thousands converged on this base, threatening to overwhelm the whole evacuation. The Taliban have assisted in this. Up the road, they're now controlling the crowds of people trying to reach the British position. Sometimes they fire into the air to make people stop. But they are a continuously menacing presence. But this is a humanitarian effort, but it's being done by the military because we're effectively in a war zone. And what's incredible, just one step away, there's a Taliban right next to the British uh, forces who are trying to assess the people who are trying to get onto these relief flights. As one of the soldiers said to me, they could mess this up by just sending a thousand blokes down the road. At the moment, they're cooperating and uh, they're actually keeping things calm. It looks like chaos, but there is a method. The soldiers call out for interpreters as different nationalities arrive. Their paperwork is then checked. If they pass muster, they're directed to the entry gate to be processed inside. But many do not. The soldiers hate this, but without the proper paperwork, they have to turn people away. Terrified families, men, women and large numbers of children are sent back. Back into Afghanistan. Back towards the Taliban. And it's heartbreaking. Fatima is terrified. Her husband joined the Taliban and took to beating her. She and her four-year-old daughter have nothing but a UN letter identifying them as victims. Afghanistan is Taliban, Taliban is tourists. My husband, uh, 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 my husband is a uh, 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 tourist Talib. America, Canada, uh, um, France, her uh, me and just my So you and your daughter, you'll go anywhere? Uh, uh, any country? Any country. We mentioned her story to the officer in charge outside. The soldiers have a reasonable degree of latitude in their decision making and Major Steve White decided to enter her into the system with no guarantees. It was quite simply an act of human kindness in all this mayhem. Fatima did make it inside. Major White may have saved their lives. He's certainly given them a chance of a better one. But there are many sad stories as well. I'm too sure that they will kill us. This doctor from Herat who is with her sister and her mother have absolutely no rights to get through the gates. They fled the Taliban and are now stuck. They have hope, but it seems hopeless. We don't have any brother, we don't have father. You know that uh, living in here is very difficult for us. We were living in Herat and we escaped from Herat and came to Kabul city to save our life because also my uncles worked with the Taliban and they wanted to uh, oblige us to force marriage. And uh, also I'm a doctor and my sister worked, uh, was working with the women rights. She right. studied life and my, also my mother is a teacher. My mother was the teacher of students in eighth class. The boys, yeah. the Taliban doesn't they don't let her to teach the boys, and now uh, she doesn't work. My mom. And so now you're running away, really? Yes, yes. We escape. We escape from our place. These soldiers are involved in a mission as diametrically opposed to anything they could ever have expected in Afghanistan. The Taliban have won here. In 20 years, a generation has grown up knowing what the Taliban were like. They don't want the next generation to experience it. Once again, a small contingent of soldiers 
at dealing with the mess. 